it's really cold, but it's beautiful nature. The mm. weather. The weather, yeah. <laughs> and, and, yeah, and you, the weather also. Iceland is a dazzling country, a unique place on the planet for its geography, people and context. As is well known, all light produces some shadows, and it is on these shadows and chiaroscuro that we will spotlight today. While work is plentiful and is one of the reasons why the country calls for immigrants, it is not always so easy to find a job of the skilled kind, especially if you don't speak Icelandic. If you ask the locals what they don't like about their country, there will naturally be a variety of answers. But it could be said that one thing that keeps coming up is the weather. I think Iceland has it all. You, know, you can get a good weather here, and you can also get a very, very bad weather, but you don't get a hurricane that kills you or like a 45 degrees heat wave that kills you. This is one of the reasons why many Icelanders prefer to spend the long winters outside the country. something they can afford relatively easily because of the level of income. Vamos a seguir preguntando a los islandeses. The climate is an issue and is also not so favorable, especially during the winter when there is not much daylight. Icelanders get quite depressed. Unfortunately, Iceland is one of the countries with one of the highest suicide rates per capita. Balancing the scales, it is also one of the lowest suicide states on the planet. Living in Iceland is difficult, especially during the very long winters when many areas are cut off from the outside world. Outside Reykjavik, there is virtually nothing but glaciers, volcanoes, lava deserts, rivers, some animals, and very small populations. Therefore, dealing with the feeling of total isolation greatly conditions the lives of its residents. At first glance, it seems easy to make friends. Integrating into Icelandic society costs us as much as any other. But there is the added difficulty of the language, which means that very few foreigners manage to learn it. Food and drink prices are quite exorbitant. Buying something as trivial as a kilo of apples can mean a minor emotional breakdown. The same is true of the food supply, which is not very varied. 
Everything is imported and is intended for the sparse population. The end result is that people learn to be flexible with their palate. The massive influx of tourists has caused a boom. As a result, hotel after hotel is being built, producing remarkable changes in the physiognomy of the city. The worst thing is probably the housing market for me. Okay. Uh, because I'm a young person, if you don't own property as a young person, uh, you're kind of screwed. So you have to um, work a lot just to be able to afford like a small housing. Even the price of rents has skyrocketed and the island's capacity has been exceeded in every way. Something that not everyone is happy about. All this talk of individual and family well-being clashes head-on with one of the hardest realities for newcomers to the country. The need and difficulty of learning Icelandic. It is a language with four infinite regular declensions, ten additional letters in its alphabet, and a pronunciation completely unknown to the average person. However, the language is the backbone of the culture and traditions, which are defended to the hilt by Icelanders. In other words, speaking Icelandic is a must for anyone who wants to feel part of society, even if most locals speak very good English. Society shows a visceral fear of losing its culture precisely because it is structured around language and Icelandic is a minority language spoken only here. Newcomers have to pay the same taxes as Icelandic nationals, but they will also enjoy the same social benefits. Although the state has a rather paternalistic role and everything seems to work well, taxes are around 40%, which may also seem rather exaggerated. Of course, there is always the consolation of seeing how well they are used. Life in Iceland is very expensive and wages are very high. So, it is easy to travel and give you a break from the other not so pleasant side of the island. Thank you for making it this far. If you enjoyed the video, which I hope you did, remember to subscribe. I'll be seeing you here very soon. Bye. Weather, even though today is beautiful, like it's probably one in a million. Uh, <laughs>